Hello, I'm Carl Bratch from Shop for Motorsports, and here in front of me today I have the G Max GM 65S. Now this is gonna be very similar to the standard 65. They have very similar features, so we can use this video kind of to cover both of those helmets. But today I'm gonna to give you the detailed breakdown and walk around of this helmet, and I'm also gonna show you what this looks like on a person's head because we don't yet have a video that shows that. Now this helmet has been around for quite a long time. It was very, very popular when it was first released. Now the reason the GM65 became a super popular helmet was the fact that it was one of the lowest or shortest fitting half helmets on the market that allowed DOT rating. It also has a very nifty drop down sun visor. Now the sun visor can easily be swapped out from the dark smoke to a clear shield as well. Another benefit that I'm gonna show you here in just a minute is this neck roll that snaps in that allows you to have speakers positioned over your ears. Now the biggest question we get from the historical YouTube video that we have of the original GM65 is I want to see it on someone's head. So today, I am wearing the size small. I am a 56 centimeter, I believe, around my head. So the size small is my perfect fit. Now when you're fitting a half helmet such as this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have perfect fit all the way around the entire circumference of your head as well as in the crown. So with this particular helmet, I feel the polystyrene at the front, I feel it at the back and it fits really nice. Now this helmet features a dual density EPS liner. There are lots of ventilation holes that are built into the top of the polystyrene that allows that hot air to vent up into the shell and to allow your head to have a cooling effect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the sun visor. Now for my particular glasses setup, it does work. Um, the, my glasses do make contact with the bottom part of this lens. Um, it would be rideable, but if you have a larger frame set of glasses, it would not work with the drop down sun visor here. Again, at nighttime, you can throw in the clear shield to be able to have wind protection with your half helmet and not be affected by the tinted visor. So to swap this shield out for the clear one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna depress this tab right here on the side of the helmet. That's gonna simply pop out. That's gonna be this little tab right here. See the little notch? It's gonna slide into place and click over. That's the tab you're gonna push in order to get the shield out. So now I'm gonna take the new visor, we're gonna set it in place until we hear it click. Like that, and like that. I'll now go ahead and throw this on so you can see what it looks like with the clear visor or shield installed. Now I do have to say that this G Max GM65 or 65S helmet has its chin strap in a very ergonomic position. A lot of these helmets cut my neck further back, but this particular one, I really like the positioning of that chin strap. Now this clear visor simply goes up and down by pulling this little tab right here at the side. And as you can see, this here is a 360 degree walk around of the G Max GM65 or 65S helmet. This was, at one point in time, the lowest profile half helmet that you could purchase that was DOT rated and safe for motorcycle on-road use. Now really quick, I'm gonna get this helmet back off. I'm gonna snap in the neck roll so you can see what that looks like. So this here is gonna be our neck roll. There are gonna be little star tabs that this is gonna pop into all the way around the helmet base. Now with this neck roll attached, you'll be able to put external speakers onto those spots so, so they fit right over your ears. So this is what the helmet looks like with that neck roll installed. You can see it comes all the way down to the base of the neck here, provides nice wind protection all the way around and gives you a great place to mount your helmet speakers. Now let's dig into the guts of the helmet so you can see the ventilation that I was talking about just a second ago. Now a very nice feature of this helmet is the fact that this liner here is removable and washable. Most half helmets have a liner that is either glued or sewn into the helmet so that you are basically stuck with having a dirty, nasty helmet if it happens to get dirty. Again, looking at the inside of the helmet here, you can see that there are ventilation channels that run from the front to the back, and we have a multitude of ventilation holes that do two things. Number one, 
They make the helmet lighter than a lot of other helmets in the marketplace that have a full polystyrene shell, and it allows that air to vent up through those holes to the shell of the helmet to get dispersed. Now, in addition to this liner being removable and washable, it also features a cool max feature. That means it's gonna be moisture wicking and it's actually gonna make your head feel cooler than a lot of the other types of helmet liners available in most half helmets. So I'm about a 55 and a half, I believe, last time I measured. This one here is a small, measures 55 to 56 centimeters. And this here is going to be that G-Max Cool Max Moisture Wicking Liner. Now to reinstall this liner back into the helmet, we're simply gonna set it in place and push it into the tabs that we find here at the outer edge of the base of the helmet. And there you have it, the detailed breakdown and quick walk around in 360 degree spin of the G-Max GM65 or 65S helmets. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna have more action like this coming directly to your email inbox, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Until next time, and as always, take care and ride safe out there.